Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you one of the most affordable new homes in North America. On this channel, I like to explore a wide variety of housing options that are built off-site, and this is one that's been getting a ton of requests lately in the comments. I have to admit, I probably should have looked at this one a little bit sooner based on all the hype, but I've got a lot of ideas rolling around in the old hamster wheel, which led to it getting brushed off, and you know what? That's my bad. It wasn't until I saw a comment about a guy named Randy and how he decided to keep the price at a certain level a little while longer that I knew I had to know more because the number was actually a bit shocking and way lower than anything else I've seen. The company I'm talking about is called Incredible Tiny Homes and more specifically they're outrageously low priced Incredibox. What I'm going to do is tell you a bit about the company, give you the goods on the Incredibox and finally get into their pricing. So let's do it. Incredible Tiny Homes was founded in 2014 in Morristown, Tennessee and is currently located in Newport, Tennessee. I wasn't on their website for more than a couple seconds before I came across this Randy guy who was mentioned in my comments and he seems like a hoot and definitely a bit of a character. Turns out Randy is the founder of Incredible Tiny Homes and did so to pursue a professional standard of craftsmanship in the tiny home industry after switching gears out of a completely different business venture in the tourism industry. After eight years of building tiny homes, they're not a tiny operation and now build indoors at a warehouse and ensure the highest quality of craftsmanship from beginning to end. They've got a full lineup of tiny homes that everyone is used to seeing at a variety of different price points, but they're also bringing some very cool new ideas to not only the tiny home industry, but housing altogether. Right now, affordability is an important subject that a lot of companies are trying to navigate, but few have been able to figure out. There are many, many approaches to affordable housing being implemented, but I think the concept Randy is rolling out over at ITH is one that will appeal to a lot of people. What he's come up with in order to cut build costs is what he's calling the world's first assembly line tiny home. What that means is they have a set size, layout, and even window placements of the home and build them the exact same every time. No changes allowed. If you want to make a bunch of changes or customize a home to exactly what you need, they offer that, but just not on this specific home. What this does is increase the efficiency of the build because every home uses all the same everything and goes together the exact same way every time. Think of it like a puzzle you've done 100 times in a row and you know where all the pieces are and where they go compared to doing a puzzle the very first time. Every time you do the puzzle, it gets a bit easier and goes a bit faster. Well, the same applies to their build. To reduce costs even more, they've taken it a step further by not completely finishing the home and leaving a few DIY elements for the buyer. Honestly, I think this is a great idea because there has to be people who have a few skills and a lot of get up and go that are ready and willing to work, but don't have all the skills, tools, and time necessary to build an entire home. They leave a few of the final tasks to be completed on the home that anyone can do, and by doing so, they're able to bring the price down a little bit further. Every little bit helps. If you fancy yourself a tiny home aficionado that likes high-end, fully custom, one-off builds, a production tiny home might rub you the wrong way, but that's okay. It's not for you. Let's check it out. What they're calling the world's first production tiny home is eight feet wide by 16 feet long for a total footprint of 128 square feet. First things first, let's take a peek at how the exterior looks when it comes out of the factory. Safe to say nothing fancy, right? That's the point. It's one of the ways the buyer saves money and gets to add value with sweat equity. The home has unfinished steel panels, a metal shed style roof, a 36 inch insulated metal door and gutters on the front. So even though it isn't over the top, it does come with some features. That's how the home's finished out of the factory, but after a bit of work that can be done by the homeowner post-purchase, it looks completely different. The model shown by Incredible Tiny Homes was painted blue, wood accents were added around the windows, and it makes a big difference to the overall look. I find painting to be a weird mix of satisfying and boring, but I feel like a project this size would tip the scales towards satisfying because you get before and after in a short amount of time instant gratification at its finest. As far as the inside goes, I was a bit shocked at how spacious it looks. Before looking at the inside of the Incredibox, I didn't have much concept of what 128 square feet look like because most of the homes I look at on this channel don't offer anything in that size range. 
but I was pleasantly surprised. The Incredibox is a studio that has a six foot butcher block counter, 19 gallon hot water tank, vinyl floors, and 32 inch shower with a delta faucet, among other things. Just like the outside of the Incredibox, the interior does leave some finishing touches up to the buyer in order to keep the price outrageously low. I can't stress enough how much I like this idea. It's like a DIY hybrid for weekend warriors, and it'll be interesting to see how many people want something like this. Not only do you save money, but you get to put your own finishing touch on the home, so in a sense, you're part of the build. Smart idea. After adding paint, blinds, shelving, and furniture, it looks like a completely different space. There are a few things I really like about the Incredibox. Obviously, first of all, is the affordability. I get so many comments from people looking for a truly affordable option, and here it is, folks. This place has everything you need. Second, I think one of the most important things in a space this size is having a place to put your crap. The home comes standard with two cabinets, which is a good start, but then they built in a full storage area above the bathroom, and so for the size, I think they've done a great job utilizing the space. I've been working on getting rid of a lot of the useless crap I've collected over the years, but I'd still want space for all my different t-shirts. The next thing I like about this home is the weight. It's only 5,000 pounds, which means it can be towed with almost any vehicle with a decent towing capacity. A lot of offsite constructed homes can be moved again, but it usually requires a crane or at the very least something a lot bigger than your daily driver. So moving the home from place to place often isn't a feasible idea, especially when you take service hookups into consideration. It's just too expensive. Aside from a traditional travel trailer, I've never lived in a home that can be towed from place to place, but it seems to me it would have a lot of benefits. Imagine you get bored of where you are, don't like a certain season in that area, you just hook onto your home and take it to wherever the sun shines brighter. It's a big perk. No matter how good the price, 128 square feet isn't going to be enough space for a lot of people watching this, but the good news is they do make it in a bigger size. Randy and the crew over at Incredible Tiny Homes have decided to add a larger footprint home to this very affordable lineup. This must be hot off the press because they don't have any of the bigger size built and haven't even really finalized the floor plan. The big Incredibox is set to be 12 by 20 or 240 square feet and what's really exciting about this offer is the price includes having it set up in a community they're currently working on. So you get the big Incredibox set up on a lot, skirted, an 8 by 10 deck, utilities hooked up with city sewer and water, and all you really have to do is pack your things and move in. The lot will be set up as a monthly leasehold, so you don't own the land for the price of the home, but it seems like a good deal nonetheless. Before I wrap this thing up, yes, we are going to look at the prices, so brace yourself. The 8x16 Incredibox, the world's first all production built tiny home, currently has a price of $20,000. If you want to jump up to the big Incredibox on one of the 70 lots they have planned in Tennessee, you're looking at $59,900, making them some of the most affordable new homes I've seen in a while. Randy is shaking things up in tiny homes by borrowing ideas from other areas of offsite construction and adding in a few of his own to make a real difference in affordable housing. I really like their DIY finishing idea and I think it's something that could be used across all different types of housing for people who are looking for a start but having a hard time breaking into home ownership. I think incredible tiny homes are cooking up some amazing ideas over in Tennessee that could seriously help make housing more affordable so I'm going to keep an eye on what they're up to and we'll post any updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.